Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth and I'm a marine biologist and today we are going on another incredible rock pooling adventure. I'm here in St Andrews in Scotland and here in the UK we have amazing tides. That means twice a day, hundreds of meters are literally exposed of the shore. And even though I have hundreds of videos going rock pooling hundreds of time here on this YouTube channel, I am still always amazed and overjoyed at just how incredible this is. So stay tuned to see what we find rock pooling in this adventure. And spoiler alert, I find a species I have never found before and it is absolutely incredible. This is a particularly low tide and it reveals these rocks right at the bottom of the beach that aren't often exposed. So I'm making the most of a very quick rock pooling trip to somewhere that's basically underwater most of the time. And as you can tell from this tiny bit of <laughs> clipped audio, I'm very excited. Wow, so many baby fish. I just can't believe how much life there is. I'm gonna have to make most of it. The problem with the super low tides is that they don't last very long. So I'm not gonna do a lot of talking and then we're gonna summarize at the end because I'm just too excited, there's too much stuff. <laughs> this shore is full of seaweed and lots of little rock pools and in those rock pools was just the most incredible life. It is like watching an entire ocean just at your feet. These gorgeous, tiny little baby gobies were just stunning to watch and I could have watched them all day. beach kind of backs onto this ginormous kelp forest which means there is just so much seaweed and when you go rock pooling it's always good to have a look in between the seaweed and see if there's anything moving I spotted this isopod swimming around and when it saw me it decided to cling to the bottom of the seaweed and hide its face it was a bit shy bless it but do not forget the incredible life that actually lives on seaweed such as these awesome gorgeous jewels and gems of the shore. These are blue rayed limpets, little tiny snail-like things that live on kelp fronds. They survive on these slimy bit of seaweed and look absolutely stunning. And these Bryzo and Eat Circle is actually a different individual making up hundreds of different creatures living on this one bit of seaweed. And some things like this decorator spider crab actually steal seaweed and attach it to its shell so it can wander around completely hidden. You really have to keep your eye out to spot these moving. And I, it always makes me laugh that there's usually just this like highly fashionable crab just strutting around the shore in its best seaweed dress. Talking of highly fashionable, I found this incredible sea slug that's bright yellow and looks totally like an alien. And this is um, a sea squirt called uh, Star Ascidian. And it really, it's the star of the show. But if I'm honest, something utterly and completely stole my heart this rock pooling session. And I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I have never seen this species before. This unbelievably cute little, like chubby fat head with a tiny little tail. Uh, animal is a snailfish. Now it doesn't look much like a snail, but snailfishes are incredibly exciting because not this species, but in the same family. So the way that we classify it and look at how different species are related, families are pretty close together. Um, so in the same family is the snailfishes that live in the deepest parts of the ocean. They are the deepest fish ever found living at 8336 meters and this this little this little fella in in the rock pool that i was seeing in just a pair of wellies is related to an animal that can adapt to live in unbelievably harsh conditions at the bottom of the ocean and you can go out and see this for yourself you can go and find them and see this just incredible type of fish i am blown away by just how lucky I was to see this and how lucky we are to live or just have coasts in general and all these amazing sea creatures. I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here just re-watching the footage staring with heart eyes at this incredible animal. 
But as much as I love fish, we've got to finish it off with two invertebrates. I got slightly distracted by this lovely um, bright green shrimp and this other uh, this other more brownie shrimp that was hiding. And then we are going to finish it all off with we were graced with the presence of this amazing devil crab that decided to just um, scamper under this rock and sit there and just give me judging looks as devil crabs with their bright red eyes always do. It was such a perfect rock pulling session and it was only about an hour because that's only how long you get to explore this really bottom of the, the tide where the sea is, is basically always there and I just can't get over how much we saw in so little time. I'll see you all in the next video and if you want to give me some extra support then head over to my Patreon where you can unlock exclusive content and join the Marine Mumbles Patreon family. Happy rock pulling everyone!